so I'm back with another tutorial and I know it's been a while since I've made a tutorial but I just want to make a new updated sync and flow tutorial because the last one I made was over a year ago or almost a year ago and a lot of stuff has changed there's some wrong stuff in that video and this is just gonna be an updated video on how I do my montages now this tutorial is on how I do it personally so if there's any editors out there if I say something wrong or anything just let me know in the comments this is just how I edit my own montages so the first thing I want to do is press new composition. You can just name it anything. I just usually name it like main or something. And then the frame rate, you want to be either 24 or 30. I usually use 24 and 1920 by 1080. And duration doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna make it short because it's a tutorial. So Once you have your composition made, go over to your folder and get your clips and song. So just drag them in. And I will leave this project file in my Discord server to download, and the link to my server will be in the description. So the first thing you're going to want to do is drag your song over to your timeline right here, to your composition. And then with hit selected, double tap L on your keyboard. So it shows the waveform. So I'm going to skip over to a part, or just the beat drop of the song, since I'm just going to edit one or two clips. So I'll skip it like right over here. Then once you do that, you want to drag in your clip, and then you're going to want to mute it. After you drag in your clip, you're going to want to just trim it right here. So I'll do that right like that and just drag it over while holding shift. So it snaps onto it and then same with the end of the clip. Then you're going to right click the clip time and press enable timer mapping and then put a keyframe at the very beginning and end of this. Then it's going to drag this over here. And then once you've done that, you want to go to each shot. So right when the ammo changes right here, so right now it says six, and once you shoot, it just says five, it just goes down one. You're going to want to put a keyframe right there. So just like that. Then you're going to want to do that for every kill. Oh, and you can go frame by frame by holding down left control and using your arrow keys. Once you've done that, you're going to want to put each keyframe on a beat, so I'm going to put the first keyframe right there, move that there, then the second one, I'm going to put it right here, and just like that, and I also usually end it on a beat. So once you've done that, you're just going to want to go in between each kill and put a keyframe on each beat, even if there's no kill or anything going on. So, so right here there's a beat, I'm just going to put a keyframe there. So just like that. Once you have all your keyframes, you're going to want to select all of them right click on one of them keyframe assistant and then easy ease then from here you want to go right here to the graph editor and if it doesn't look like this you're probably on speed graph so this is what the speed graph looks like so if you're on this just right click and then press edit value graph so you have this then you want to zoom in a little bit so you can see each one and then select the first one and just move it up a little bit and the second one move it down a little bit so the steeper this is, the faster it's going to be, and the flatter it is, the slower it's going to be. And if it goes down like this a little bit, the video is just going to be playing backwards. So I want to adjust it kind of like this for each one. And now don't make it too steep, like don't do this for all of them. That just won't look good. So just kind of play around with it like this. And then play it back to if you like it or not. So I'm good with that result. So this is just a tutorial. Normally I'll spend a little bit more time on each clip, but that's pretty much all you want to do for 
every clip in your montage. So there's actually two more things that you need to do. One thing is you want to turn on frame blending. So right here, so you want to, in this far left square, you want to double click it. So it looks like that. And that'll just make it so there's not as many frame drops and it will all look smooth. And then the last thing is you want to add RSMB. So what I normally do is when I'm, I only add RSMB and frame blending when I'm done with all of the clips. So I usually, when I'm done with all the clips, I add frame blending and I pre-comp everything. So I highlight, select all the clips like this and then right click and then pre-comp. And then I'm going to put, or, and then I put RSMB on the pre-comp instead of each clip individually. Now for RSMB, I usually just put 0.4 and then 60. That's just how I do it personally, but you can mess around with other things you want. And all RSMB is, is just motion blur. It just looks, makes it look a lot smoother. And now if there are really slow parts in the montage and your clips are in 30 FPS, frame blending will make it look warped a little bit and distorted. So that's just what that is if you see any like distortion in the video. So that's pretty much how I edit my montages. If you wanna see how I do like all my effects, 3D text and max or anything like that, just let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next tutorial.